I'm Dan Ackerman and we are here taking a look at the Microsoft Surface Pro 2. That is the latest version of Microsoft's flagship PC product here just in time for Windows 8.1. So you have an updated operating system, you have updated components inside the Surface Pro, most notably an Intel Haswell generation chip. That's the fourth generation of Intel's core i5 uh, CPUs that are supposed to give you somewhat better performance, but also much better battery life. Uh, the catch is that the Surface Pro 2 from the outside looks pretty much exactly the same as the Surface Pro 1. In fact, I've got a Surface Pro original version right here, and as you can see, uh, these are pretty much the same. Same weight, same thickness. Uh, the big difference physically is that the original Surface Pro has a kickstand that comes out like this. The Surface Pro 2 has the same kickstand, but it has a second angle as well which is actually important. It works a lot better in your lap when you can tilt the screen back or if you're tall and kind of looking down on it like I am right here. Like the original Surface Pro, the Surface Pro 2 has some optional keyboard covers. There's a touch cover with uh, flat keys and a type cover which has actual physical keys. It remains the best thing about the Surface Pro experience. This new version, uh, which is about 119 for the touch cover, 129 for the type cover, is actually backlit now, which is really cool, uh, especially if you're sitting on your couch in the living room and, and typing on it. Uh, you can actually see the keys. I think people love backlit keyboards. Once you get used to one, you never want to go back. Uh, it costs about $899. If you start with a 64 gig version, you really want 128 gig. That's uh, $999. You add another $130 bucks for the uh, touch cover, which really should be packed in by default. Uh, so you end up with a fairly expensive kind of premium ultrabook price. For the same price, you could also try out Sony's version of the same thing, which is the Tap 11, and I have that right here. Uh, the Tap 11 has an 11 inch screen, so it's a little bit bigger. It also has a keyboard cover, in this case that detaches. Uh, it's got a little skinny kickstand back here, so that's kind of different. Uh, they cost about the same, but this is thinner and lighter, so really a much nicer overall physical design. However, I like them both about equally because I like the typing experience on the Surface better because of the attached uh, keyboard and the fact that the kickstand is wide and can go across your lap, uh, but I like the actual, you know, very laptop style keys on this and the fact that the whole product is thinner and lighter. So for about $1,100, uh, if you work in what the keyboards cost, uh, you can get the, the same experience from both. The real selling point for the Surface Pro 2 is that with these Haswell chips and some internal improvements that Microsoft has made, you get better battery life. In our very tough battery test, the original Surface Pro ran for about four and a half hours. Uh, this new version ran for more than six hours. Uh, that's a pretty significant improvement. And if you're just doing casual surfing on it, it should last even longer. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that's the Microsoft Surface Pro 2.